Hey guys, welcome to your next project. In this project, we're going to be using a framework called Framework 7, which is actually an option when you're generating a phone gap application with the, the desktop app. Okay, now Framework 7 is very similar to, let's say, jQuery Mobile and some of the other mobile frameworks out there. Um, it gives us a style and it also gives us some nice functionality as far as swiping and, and pa looking at pages and pop-ups, things like that. So we're going to be building a workout tracker. This is the home page and you can see it looks just like a, a real mobile app and we have our list of workouts here. We also have an about link down here. If we click that, that'll take us to the about page and you can see the nice transition. We can go back. It's really slow on, the, on this virtual device but it's, it's very fast on a regular device. Um, so if we click on one of these workouts, it'll take us to the details page with the title, the type of workout, the length, and the date. Okay, very simple. And we can add a workout. If we click this button here, that'll bring us to a nice looking form. And we can add a title here. Let's say evening run. And for the date, as soon as we tap or click in the date field, it's going to open up this interface. And uh, this is the default Android date interface. Uh, iOS will look a little different. And then for the type, you'll see if we click this, it takes us over to this nice select list. Uh, jogging is the default, so we're just going to keep it at that. We can click back. And then for the length, that's going to be a number. So we can go ahead and say 60 minutes. and we'll go ahead and submit and now you can see evening run has now been added okay so that's what we'll be building now as far as the storage we're using WebSQL which is uh, one of the available storage options when you're using PhoneGap basically it's it, it works with the structured query language so we can do inserts and selects and uh, things like that all right, so that's what we'll be storing our workouts in. All right, so that's the plan, and we'll get started in the next video.